Oh, I don't know what was going on. I was just taking my son to the game. <laughs> Bitch, you lucky Derek ain't take him to the game. Okay, chat, from my understanding, Kwame Brown been going on rants, bro. He been going on rants versus Matt Barnes, Steven Jackson, Gilbert Arenas, Stephen A. Smith. I'm, that's off off top of my head. That's four people off top of my head. He been ranting about people every day that I can't even keep up, and I don't know where all of this started. This man was 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 nowhere to be found the last ten years. Now all of a sudden, Kwame Brown just pops up out of nowhere, just 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 ready to go at everybody. I understand it has something to do with with, with like Gilbert Arenas, Stephen Jackson, and Matt Barnes making fun of his his basketball career because like he was a number one draft pick. He's literally the worst number one draft pick of all time. He literally is that. That's that's it. That's what he's known as. Kwame Brown is known as the biggest NBA bust of all time. I think Anthony Bennett number two, like or some something, something like that, something of that nature. But anyway. Kwame Brown is now going on a rampage and it's hard for me to find the details as to why he's acting like this, where this is coming from. So I'm trying to put pieces together to make this make sense for myself because I've been missing all of it. I haven't seen any of it. So let's see what Matt Barnes said. So Matt. Kwame Brown had some comments mm -hmm. about you on IG Live yeah. this weekend. Do you care to address? Yeah, I was just confused. I didn't really know what huh? happened. I didn't know where they came from. I was coaching the kids this weekend, and I look on social media, and people are going crazy. But I get where he's coming from. I mean, he's yeah. kind of been the butt of jokes coming into the league and not being able to live up to that number one potential. Yeah. Um, I guess some stuff was said on the podcast. Um, I don't know. Like, to me, your anger is, is, is focused on me. I didn't say nothing to do nothing. If you want to be mad at anyone, be mad at MJ for picking you number one. Oh! Of course, to the All the Smoke podcast right. where you had Gilbert Arenas on. It was yeah. you and Steven Jackson. And I don't even recall, Rachel, to be honest with you. So good luck, bro. <laughs> oh. I got nothing. <laughs> Richard Jefferson said, my name is Bennett and I'm not in it. Okay. And so this right here is Kwame Brown response to that interview with Matt Barnes. Becky with the good hair. He calling Matt Barnes Becky with the good hair. His hair is nice. He got that Reese bald. He don't got none of that. You went to work today. You went to ESPN. Uh -uh. To your white mama, Rachel Nichols. No Who I know way. very well. No who, way. If you look at the timeline, when I was a teenager and when I was in D.C., she was right there. And she was interviewing me. Okay. And she was very disrespectful herself. So it would make sense that they put... Rachel Nichols yeah. there to ask them little black boys mm -hmm. from the white mama. No. What it is you think about this guy. And then Matt Barnes, your response was so corny. Really, Becky with the good hair? You really telling me you don't know what happened? You don't know why? When you stop, well, you love showing out front of them white women, don't you? Boy? No way. When you stop Miss Jeannie Buss from saying what she was saying, which she was saying something factual, it don't have nothing to do with me being angry, sir. Uh huh. It has everything with me exposing the hypocrisy and how you fake niggas get a position and you do white people bidding, nigga. All you, Jack, and all you niggas do is talk about black males all day long. Yeah. That's all you do. Yeah. Now you on ESPN talking about another black male that you won't have a conversation with. Okay. You went and sat up there in front, and then the other nigga, what do you have to say, Richard Jefferson? I don't have anything to say. <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing about you because you ain't had nothing to do with this. He chilling. Get up here and act like you don't know. Why somebody would want to call you out As if you some perfect ass nigga Okay As if you was the best nigga in the league or something You role playing ass angry ass punk You sitting here acting like you was <laughs> like that or something Cause you done made friendships And you kissing ass all day nigga I don't like the way ass tastes Okay So I be by myself in the same truck Just I talking see. about I drive Yeah I sure do drive trucks You not even that smart are you boy you gonna disrespect half the people that drive trucks and you from Texas? 
See, that shows your level of education, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but I told you, you nigga barked up the wrong motherfucking tree. I can see that. And instead of somebody tapping you on the shoulder and telling you, leave that dead boy alone. Whatever they told you about that one, they was wrong. Leave that. No, to stop lagging. Who connection is this, bro? I told you about this shit, boy. A nigga like you? Yeah. Nigga, I know you feel inadequate, boy. That's why you keep talking about real men. You lost your woman to a real man, boy. No. He probably was watching how you were moving, you punk. No. He probably was texting your old lady at the goddamn gatherings. No. He had gay and balls. He was texting your wife. No. And you sitting on the news station, you talking about other men, boy. This video popped up on my recommended and it makes perfect sense. They knew about it from the start. Look how Matt Barnes don't want to shake his hand. He know he's sneaky. He know he's sneaky with his wife. He already know. Why you ain't trying to shake it? You see him? Don't try to act like you ain't see him. And now look at Derek Fisher. Look at Derek Fisher. Look how he don't take his eyes off of Matt Barnes' wife. Look at this man. You're in 4K HD. Why you looking at her like that? She ain't married to you. Y'all are sneaky. That's all you niggas do is how to look at me show. Well, that look at me show is over with, nigga. Now you gonna look at me, boy. Huh? The look at me show is over. So now y'all gonna look at me. What does that even mean? The fuck you talking about? You inadequate, boy. That's why you always got another man name in your mouth. Talk to and him. And then you always acting like, now you want to talk like a politician. Oh, I don't know what was going on. I was just taking my son to the game. <laughs> Bitch, you lucky Derek ain't take him to the game. <laughs> the fuck you talking about? You ain't taking your son to the game. You don't know what's going on. And you sitting up in one podcast and then the next podcast. <laughs> you talking, folks talking about another grown man. No way. He said Derek could have took years him. removed from the number one draft pick, Nick. Mm. And you sitting here running your mouth about a man that ain't never said nothing about you in that manner? I never said you couldn't have an opinion, sir. No so way. So to sit here and try to pump some narrative talking about he butt hurt about being the number one draft pick. How the hell the nigga that's butt hurt that ain't saying nothing to nobody about nothing? If you never would have put that extra disrespect on it, bro, let that woman finish her sentence and don't say nothing. But no, you talk too motherfucking much. Ooh. And that's probably why your ex-wife was tired of hearing you run your motherfucking mouth no and trying to be way. prettier than her, nigga. <laughs> he said he's trying to be the prettier mirror, than her. hogging all the mirror space, trying to get that activator in that finger wave, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you running your mouth talking about somebody <laughs> like me. No boy, way. You stop, boy. I done told you. You done stepped in that goddamn quicksand, boy. I don't got to lie and make up shit. The only joke you got, boy, when is this basketball joke going to run out? You keep hitting me with basketball jokes. I keep hitting you with your real soft-ass, punk-ass life. No! Which one didn't like you, boy? Your granddaddy that was black huh? or your granddaddy that was white? What? Because there's some deep issues in you, boy. Oh, he trying to go deep into Matt Barnes' family roots and say there was corruption from the core of the family. What is going on here? You can't understand what the fuck I'm trying to say. That in America right now, boy, white people are scared to talk about black people right now as a whole. And you niggas getting on camera every day talking about black males. That's all you niggas do. You want to sit here and make me look a certain way, boy? When a nigga, some nigga done ate your food. What song is this? Some Derek Fisher done opened it's your It's some Derek Fisher. To your house. <laughs> he <laughs> having Derek fun Fisher with him. To your kids. To your truck. You bitch ass nigga, send some gas money so you can pick them kids up. <laughs> yeah. Now what you do, nigga? You no. nigga want to sit on TV and act like y'all niggas perfect. And you can't respect when a man tell you you wrong, bro. Well, let, let the gloves come off. The only joke you got is about basketball. I got a joke about your life, you punk bitch. <laughs> he is an animal, about, man. Is, is he the mentor or the stepdaddy or what? Because he your mentor too, you punk. Bro. 
Y'all niggas a trip. You want to sit online. And this is what Rachel Nichols sat there and got your dumb ass to say something else again. She got it. Rachel Nich Nichols, no. I'm going to say something. I ain't got shit to lose. I don't got no big podcast. Yeah. You a dumb nigga that keep responding to a nigga that you bigger than. You stupid motherfucker. <laughs> you ain't learned nothing because you think you tough. A light-skinned nigga like you with slick ass hair should be acting like Drake and taking niggas' girls. But no, you getting your girl too. So you want to be a thug. You want to smoke weed and play cars all night, punk. Chad, I can't hear no more of that. We got to see what Matt Barnes said in reply to that. Call me Brown. Brother Brown, Brother Brown. I've been ranting for about five days now. His hair is slicked up nice. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, your cry for help, your need for attention is works. I heard your Instagram following me has grown over 30,000 <laughs> the last handful of days since you have my dick. I mean, my name in your Whoa! Don't be fooled by this new attention, bro. All these people that are gassing you and putting a battery in your back, all the platforms that are picking you up, didn't give a fuck about you last week, bro. They don't love you, they just love the drama. <laughs> And the old the old jokes you're saying they don't love you they don't love me they don't know no one they love a drama that's it but come on all the smoke come talk your shit face to face you got a story to tell obviously you're hurt i mean like i said you you can you can play it off with humor but mm -hmm. you're hurt and i get it i mean but come on the show talk that shit tell your story face to face there's no bigger, better platform than ours. You can say what you want. We're yeah. an award-winning platform. Yeah. We don't tear down black men because you are the butt of the joke. Now that's that, that's what you're on. You think we're tearing down black men, but if you actually watch the show, we empower everybody. Y'all are silly, is. bro. Come on the show, man. We'll be in Atlanta next month. Come to you. Um, shit, if me and you got a box before, during, or after, then shake hands to get this shit done. You know I'm always with the shit. But come tell your story, man. Get that shit up off your chest. I mean, attacking Stephen A. Smith, he's almost 60 years old. He don't want to fight you. But I ain't got no issues. Like I said, I'm with the shit. So you could bring your hookah. You could bring that front seat of your car that you're always in. No. Ranting about. Make yourself feel comfortable. Whatever you need to feel comfortable. But come on all the smoke and tell your story, my nigga. We'll be in Atlanta next month. Let me know what's up. Chad, this is getting out of hand. I hope he goes on all the smoke podcasts. This is good content right here. I'm not going to lie to you. I got no reason to lie to you. This is why I'm tuned in now. I was behind see what he said to Stephen A. <laughs> but now we need to see everything. Now this is exactly what we're here for. This summer is starting off real nicely. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, chat, but I'm in <laughs> I'm liking this. What is going on? Keep in mind, Matt Barnes drove like 10 hours, 30 miles or something. He drove a long distance of time to go whoop Derek Fisher ass. So I know Matt Barnes got anger in his heart. It's not on display in this car, but he got some anger in his heart. Because for a man to drive about 10 hours or however many miles, I heard some ridiculous story about how many miles he drove to go whoop Derek Fisher ass. I know that he with some action of some sort. He's with some sort of action and this is getting out of hand. Ladies and gentlemen. What y'all think going to happen? Let me know down in the comments. You think Kwame going to the All The Smoke podcast? But other than that, chat, it's been your boy Reese in peace.